<laughs> to my left is Roy Acri, the acting fire chief, and to his left is Scott Stokes, the director of public works. Um, first item on the agenda is a public hearing, variance request V13045, reduction of front setback from 35 feet to 20 feet, 0 0.3 acres, land lot 4871050 Stephen Street. Tim Spanger, is he, is that you? Okay, can you step to the podium, please? And for the record, can you state your name and then also tell us about your variance request this morning? My name is Tim Spanger, and the variance we're looking for is to bring the setback to 20 feet so we can add an additional front porch. Um, a lot of things happening in our neighborhood. There's a lot of people's houses are being redone and remodeled, and the house is 1949, so we're trying to bring up the house to basically the rest of the neighborhood at this point. So okay. in order to bring it out just a little bit further, we'll need to variance. All right. I don't know if you have pictures or not, but I do have some images if you want to see those, too. All right. Any questions? Nope. All right. Well, this time we'll have the staff uh, make comments. Joey stops. Joey Stobbs, Planner 1 with Community Development. This is a variance request V13-045, 1050 Stevens Street, reduction of the front setback from 35 feet to 20 feet. This is a, an R15 zoning district that requires a minimum front yard setback of 35 feet. Um, currently, this house is approximately 33 feet from the front property line, so it's a um, legal non-conforming lot. The um, applicant is proposing to build a addition to the front of the house for a front porch. Um, basically just be architecturally architectural in nature and provide you know a front porch for the applicant. Um, the city has approved similar variances to this in, in the past so it would not be setting a negative precedent. We've Posted signage and um, the applicant has um, notified the surrounding residents. Um, so, after review of the proposal with the uh, the four variance criteria, we found this to be in compliance and we recommended approval with no conditions. Any comments from the surrounding residents? No. Okay. Any questions from the staff? Has the applicant applied for a building permit yet? No, sir. Okay. Right. Well, at this time, I would like to entertain, well, first of all, this is a public hearing. If anyone would like to speak regarding this issue, I ask that you please step to the podium at this time. All right. Seeing no one, I would like to entertain a motion, please. I'd like to make a motion for variance request V13-045 for the reduction of front setback from 35 to 20 feet on a 0.3 acre track land lot 847 at 1050 Stephen Street for Mr. Tim Spanger. Second. It's been motioned and properly second that we approve variance request V13045 reduction of front setback from 35 feet to 20 feet 0 0.3 acres land lot 487 1050 Stephen Street. T Tim Spanger is the applicant. All in favor, please vote. All right. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Okay. Um, next item is a public hearing. Variance request V13046 allow encroachment into the 50 foot city undisturbed stream buffer. 0 0.39 acres, land lot 559 Alexander Street, Robert Harrison. Is Mr. Harrison present? I don't see him here. Uh, we may want to jump to the next, All right. the last two. Okay. I'll try to call him. Yeah. Okay. All right. Since Mr. Harrison is not present, we will skip that item and the following item and go to the next item, which is a public hearing variance request v13048 
allow reduction of the rear setback from 20 feet to 15 feet, 0.12 acres, land lot 520-1214, Hill Street, Trayton Homes. Is someone from Trayton Homes here? Okay. Can you step to the podium and state your name, please? Yes, ma'am. I'm Chris Poston with Trayton Homes. All right. And um, can you explain your variance request? And it looks like you have one for the second item as yes, well. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, they're, they're both similar um, to in order to get the plans that we had, uh, or the models that we had planned to go in there per the zoning um, and, and maintain, <clears throat> you know, what we'd kind of promised, uh, the, the decks are sticking over uh, into the, the rear setback. And, again, we'll, uh, I guess, the 22 foot driveway uh, is what kind of pushed us a little back into there. So, um, just to maintain what we're going for, we request that reduction. All right. And what size are the homes going to be? Uh, they are all from in the, in the high 2,000, really, right at 3,000, just over 3,000 square feet. Okay. All right. And any questions? So, how, how did it? So, we knew what the zoning stipulations were and then what happened I, again the, the, we missed the 22 foot driveway um and and there was some uh, also uh varying things as to the uh the property lines with old property lines and new property lines from the existing lot that was being cut so you don't anticipate having to do this to the others no again we looked at all of them the other two uh, we actually pulled permits yesterday on and they're starting so this were these were the two any other questions okay all right well at this time we'll hear from the staff please <clears throat> The applicant is uh, requesting a rear setback reduction from 20 feet to 15 feet for 1214 Hill Street. Uh, this is basically just um, so that the, the applicant can maintain the 22 foot driveway. Um, this house will um, back up to basically the detention pond and the lot four, which is now lot 28 because they've reconfigured the lot numbers but um, uh, so we don't first see this being uh, um, uh, have any impact on the surrounding properties um, they do own all of, all of this property currently um, and across the street so they are the only um, stakeholder in this um, so you know, we have reviewed the request and um, are supportive for having the rear setback reduction and uh, so that the, the uh, <clears throat> applicant can have the 22-foot driveway, keep the parked cars in the driveway outside of the sidewalk and the right-of-way. Mm -hmm. um, we recommended approval with the following condition. Approval of the requested variance shall be conditioned upon the development of the property and substantial <clears throat> compliance with the site plan submitted with the variance application. Okay. All right. Any questions for the staff? All right. Well, this is a public <clears throat> hearing. If anyone would like to speak regarding this issue, I ask that you please step to the podium at this time. All right, seeing no one, I would like to entertain a motion, please. Make a motion that we approve variance request V13-048. Allow the reduction of the rear setback from 20 feet to 15 feet, 0.12 acres, landlot 520, 1214 Hill Street with the condition that approval of the requested variance shall be Conditioned upon the development of the property in substantial compliance with a site plan submitted with the variance application. Second the motion. Um, it's been motion and properly second that we approve variance request V13048, redu reduction of the rear setback from 20 feet to 15 feet, 0 0.12 acres, land lot 520, 1214 Hill Street, Trayton Homes is the applicant. All in favor, please vote. 
All right. Motion passes unanimously. Um, next item, um, basically the same thing, public hearing variance request V13049, allow reduction of the rear setback from 20 feet to 15 feet, 0 0.13 acres, land lot 520-1210, Hill Street, Trayton Homes. Um, any additional comments about this one? All right. Uh, Mr. Stobbs, any additional comments? This is an identical request to the um, to the previous request. Um, however, this this lot will be on the corner, so the applicant has notified the adjacent property owner on Hickory Hill Drive on on that um, west corner. Um, but other than that, no, we have no additional comments. We've reviewed the request and recommended approval with the same condition that uh, approval of the requested variance shall be conditioned upon the development of the property in substantial compliance with the site plan submitted with the variance application. Rosemary. All right. Oh, I need it. I can't see it. Any questions? Which just out of curiosity, which land lot, uh, which lot was this? You, you can see that they. This land is um, now. Loading. That's all I see. Lot twenty-seven. Now twenty-seven. Instead of five twenty. This voting in progress. It was previously lot three, and now it's lot yeah. twenty-seven. Okay. And and Chris, did, I apologize. Did you say your your last name was Proston? Poston. 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 Okay, Mr. Poston. When do you anticipate? Um, approximately beginning construction on these four lots uh, we tried to pull all four permits and but needed this variant so we'll I guess we can pull them tomorrow okay okay thank you sure. yes mm -hmm. yeah, the permits for lot 25 and 28 previously lot one and four those permits well, the street were, addresses are the same excuse just, me well, street addresses are the same yes it's just the po lot, lot number changed right uh, those were issued yesterday. Okay. So, so the approved plat is wrong? It's being revised. It's in our office waiting for the mayor's signature, but um, okay. every, everyone else has signed off on it. <clears throat> okay. Um, this is a public hearing. If anyone would like to speak regarding this issue, I ask that you please step to the podium at this time. All right. Seeing no one, I would like to entertain a motion, please. I make a motion that we approve variance request V13-049 to allow the reduction of the rear setback from 20 to 15 feet for a 0.13 acre landlot 520 at 1210 Hill Street for Trayton Homes with the following condition and that is that the approval of the requested variant shall be conditioned upon the development of the property in substantial compliance with the site plan submitted with the variance application second there's been motion and properly second that we approve variance request v13049 allow reduction of the rear setback from 20 feet to 15 feet 0 0.13 acres land lot 520 1210 Hill Street, Trayton Homes is the applicant. All in favor, please vote. All right, motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Um, we will go back up to uh, public hearing variance request V13046, allow encroachment into the 50-foot city undisturbed stream buffer, 0 0.39 acres, land lot 559-2889, Alexander Street. Robert Harris is the applicant. Has Mr. Harris arrived? Okay, all right. Can you step to the podium and state your name and tell us about your variance request? Robert Harrison, and I'm building a house. My personal home at 2889 Alexander Street. Uh, it was previously two houses many years ago. Uh, it's one lot now. Um, due to the nature of the, the terrain there, the, uh, We've pushed the house as far back and as far sideways as we can to get as far away as we can from the uh, creek buffer. And we're able to get it out of the non-disturbed buffer, but it's still in the impervious setback. And so uh, mitigated some of that by having pervious areas designated elsewhere on the property. 
All right. And any questions? Have you, have you decided where you're going to relocate the pervious area? Yes, it's marked on the plat. Plat? Uh, not the going? plat, excuse me, site plan, Miss Boat, that we will uh, record. That what we're looking at? Yes, it's shown on the rear of the property. And also some of the parking area will be designated as uh, pervious parking space. Uh, how are you going to do that? Uh, it, compacted gravel, uh, crush run. Uh, then on the front parking area, there'll be uh, landscape areas inside the parking area, uh, in between where the wheels are on the vehicles, uh, just to allow for a more pervious area. Right, something else, a comp compacted crush run, other, something other than gravel. Our rails gravel is not an approved parking surface, but we can come up with something that's pervious that would uh, fall within the guidelines for the city. Any other questions? Not for this gentleman. Okay. My next door neighbor just happens to be here today, too. Okay, all right. <laughs> so you're going to do a firehouse? Yes, uh, I've been building houses for over 15, maybe 16 years, and I've built very normal-looking houses for everybody here in Smyrna, and I just have to have something just a little bit different. And so I've always wanted to live in an old fire station, and since there was none available in the city of Smyrna, I just decided I'm going to have to just build my own. So the house will look on the outside as if it was an old building. I've got uh, a lot of plans to make it look like it's been there since the 1930s. And it's just a challenge for me to see how far I can go with everything I've learned over the past 15, 20 years mm -hmm. uh, from a design element to make it look old on the outside. And because it fits in with the neighborhood character, it's an older historic neighborhood there. And it's next to commercial property. So it'll be kind of a bridge between the commercial property and the residential property on the other side of me. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have a fire pole. I was about to ask you, will you have a fire pole? Okay. Well, maybe one more. Okay. This drawing is, well, I can't see it very well, and it's not because of my eyes. Uh, do you have the drawing there with not you? Not with me, no, but I'm, I'm familiar with it. What, looking, at the ha looking at the house from the street, what is this thing on the left side up against the... That's a privacy wall. It's kind of an, uh, uh, let's see, the left side. It's like a round circle, and then it's got an L around it. Are you looking at the uh, front elevation or the site plan? This We're looking hand-drawn at, site plan. Yeah. Site plan? Oh, okay, the L-shape, that's the retaining wall. The property slopes from the left down to the right, and all I was doing was creating kind of a private courtyard area. Directly behind me is a church building that's... No, this is on the f front left of the house. Oh, the upon street. Alexander Street. Oh, that's an oak tree. And what's this... There's, there's an existing cinder block retaining wall about three feet tall, and there's a large, very large oak tree, probably four to five feet in diameter, and that's oh, that staying there. And that's one reason we had to position the house where it is, is so we didn't interfere with that tree. There's an existing dilapidated asphalt driveway there, and the driveway that you see on the side plan is going to be in the same spot so that we minimize the damage to that oak tree. Okay. And then these two things in front of the house, these... The parking space in the front of the house? Well, two rectangular squares. Oh, that's the landscape area inside the parking area. To increase the pervious area in that parking space, uh, just designated that as a landscaping area. You would drive over it. It wouldn't be in the tire path. That's just a parking space. That's not a garage on the front of the house. The front two doors are just uh, for cosmetic purposes. They're not, they're not functional. But that, that's optional. If there's an issue with that, we can we can adjust that. But I've seen that on other designs that it just increases the pervious area and allows for a little landscaping in the front there instead of just a solid driveway surface. What was that? And well, I got maybe an a question for staff too. But was was the I guess to the to the east? I guess is where the creek is. I'm looking at this right. Uh, it's actually to the south. Uh, well, 
this is upside down, but okay. where the creek is. Yes. Is it, did anybody determine if it's state waters? It is. Eric Randall, that's, um, it is best estimation it is state water. Okay. So we adjusted the house location further north to get out of the non-disturbed buffer completely. Um, it's just the access across there, which is allowed, but it's just the impervious buffer right now that we're um, in, in the middle of. All right. All right. Well, at this time, we'll have um, Joey Stobbs make comments, please. Uh, the applicant has requested two variances on this um, property. One is to allow encroachment in the 50-foot undisturbed buffer, and another one is to uh, allow the elimination of the 25-foot impervious surface buffer. Um, in the 50-foot undisturbed buffer, there is a 25-foot state undisturbed buffer, and then beyond that is a what is just designated 25-foot <coughs> city undisturbed buffer but really the city buffer is the whole 50 feet the applicant will just be in the last 25 feet it will not be in the state undisturbed buffer and really all that will be in the undisturbed buffer is the um, the driveway that goes to the garage um, this 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 property is already um, by nature, level and cleared um, in, in the area where he wants to build. So he'll be doing minimal disturbance to the the land as it is now. Um, the subject property is approximately 17,000 square feet. Uh, he is building a single family home on the property. Uh, due to the required setbacks and the existing vegetation on the north side of the property and the uh, the impervious surface setbacks, there's minimal area in which to build the house. He has proposed um, building a single-family house that will uh, encumber the impervious setback with approximately a little over a thousand square feet of impervious surface. He has proposed to um, compensate for that by designating a thousand square feet of area that will remain um, pervious um, on the, I guess that's the north side of the property, the, the rear portion of the property. He will designate that on a plat before we issue a building permit. Um, And the driveway, as I mentioned, is really the only um, <clears throat> construction element in the undisturbed buffer. Um, the city engineers reviewed this, and from an access point, he, he is supportive of that variance since it's for access to the property. The applicant is also proposed to plant vegetation on the south side of the property, which is adjacent to the to the creek, um, and this will help filter sediment and and runoff from the property and um, reduce any impacts of the property to the stream. Currently, there's um, little vegetation in that area, so he will be um, improving uh, the property in that regard. Um, so we we have reviewed the request. Uh, we we uh, the applicant has posted signage and notified the surrounding properties. Uh, we recommend approval of the request and found it to be in compliance with the <coughs> the criteria by which we review the request. We have um, two conditions that the applicant record a plat on of the subject property with the proposed compensatory area to remain pervious, and two, approval of the requested variance shall be conditioned upon the development of the property in substantial compliance with the site plan submitted with the variance application. Any 
Any questions? Yeah. Okay. All right. This is a public hearing. If anyone would like to speak regarding this issue, I ask that you please step to the podium at this time. Seeing no one, I would like to entertain a motion, please. Make a motion that we approve variance request V13 046, allow encroachment in the 50 foot city undisturbed stream buffer, 0 0.039 acres, landlot 559 2889 Alexander Street, with two conditions. Condition one, the applicant record a plat of the subject property with the proposed compensatory area to remain pervious. Uh, Make them also add that that plat have the uh, all the sign offs as we normally use for a subdivision plat and condition two approval of the requested variance shall be conditioned upon the development of the property and substantial compliance with the site plan submitted with the variance application. Second motion. It's been motion and properly second that we approve variance request V16046, allow encroachment into the 50-foot city undisturbed stream buffer, 0 0.39 acres, landlot 559-2889, Alexander Street. Robert Harris is the applicant. All in favor, please vote. All right, motion passes unanimously. Um, next item is a public hearing, variance request V13047, allow elimination of the 25-foot impervious surfer stream buffer, 0 0.39 acres, land lot 559-2889, Alexander Street. Robert Harris is the applicant. Um, Mr. Harris, would you like to s talk about this item? I realize there was two variances. I apologize. Okay. Yes, the, the same uh Second verse, same as the first. Uh, it's part of the variance for allowing the construction of a house inside the uh, impervious setback. Okay. All right. Any questions? About All right. We'll have Mr. Stops speak, please. Uh, the staff doesn't have any additional comments. We recommended approval with the same conditions. <clears throat> I mean, they both are concurrent with each other. So. Okay. Any questions? All right. At this time, uh, this is a public hearing. If anyone would like to speak regarding this variance request, I ask that you please step to the podium at this time. Seeing no one, I would like to entertain a motion, please. I'd like to make a motion that we approve variance request V13-047 to allow el elimination of 25-foot impervious stream Impervious surface stream buffer, 0 0.39 acre, landlot 559 at 2889 Alexander Street for Mr. Robert Harrison. With the two following two conditions, one, that the applicant record a plat of subject property with the proposed compensatory area to remain pervious, and two, that the approval of the requested variance shall be conditioned upon the development of the property in substantial compliance with the site plan submitted with the variance application. Second. It's been motioned and properly second that we approve variance request V13047, allow elimination of the 25-foot impervious surfer stream buffer, 0 0.39 acres, land lot 559-2889, Alexander Street. Robert Harris is the applicant. All in favor, please vote. All right. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. <laughs> That's it. Is he going to have a fire pole? Yeah, he said he was going to have a fire pole. You're all invited to the ribbon cutting ceremony, the red rededication ceremony, whatever we'll call it. So. And and also, just as as a joke, I almost abstained from the uh, from the vote uh, for fear that I might have a an obvious bias uh, for a, a fire station slash house. Uh, if you have a used fire truck for sale, let me know. I'm in the yeah. <laughs> we do. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <clears throat> um, next item is approval of the meeting minutes uh, for License and Variance Board for October 23rd, 2013. I can motion that we approve the, the uh, meeting minutes for <clears throat> the License and Variance Board meeting minutes of October 23rd, 2013. Second motion. 
It's been motioned and properly second that we approve the meeting minutes from October 23rd, 2013. All in favor, please vote. All right, motion passes unanimously, and I would like to declare this meeting adjourned at 1029 a.m. Thank you. Yay. <laughs>